finally time for my Q&A. Um, I've basically got the most popular questions together and ones that I thought were a little bit interesting for you guys. So unfortunately, I got sent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions. So I'm not gonna be able to get through all of them, but I'm really going to try and get through as many as possible. The most simple answer to that is no. All the relationships that form, you don't get told what to do. Everything that happens in there is absolutely your choice. Well, yes and no, because Adam is best mates with my ex, Dan Webb. So we actually did meet once on Mother's Day. We all went out together. He was out with his mom and quite a few other people. But when he was actually in the lineup at the very start of Love Island, I had no idea who he was. And I didn't actually recognize him until about two days in. So yes and no, we have met before, but we don't have a massive history together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's basically the two showers outside, there's a huge camera in front of it, cameras all around, everyone can see you naked. I mean, I walked in on people by accident all the time. So you, at first it's a little bit intimidating, but you sort of just get used to it. At the end of the day, like everyone sees each other naked and you just stop caring. Lunches were catered for, they were quite basic. It was usually just fish and meat with vegetables. Sometimes they changed it up, but Everyone was sort of complaining and the food was really average, so they kept it super simple for us. Well, this one's a hard one, yes and no, because I genuinely have feelings for Matt. And so during my time in the villa, I thought that I was following my heart and I thought that Matt liked me as well. But I also kind of do wish that I did explore things with Sam and even the other guys, because I put all my eggs in one basket with Matt and I was just all for him. But I don't think that was reciprocated by Matt. And to be honest, I feel like I got played. And that's the real testament to my dating life because yeah, seems like I always just get fucked over. I saw him make the Vanessa Who comment and I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, yeah, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Um, mm, at the moment, <laughs> I just feel like my dating life is a fucking mess. Like, it's just been a disaster. I just got played on national TV and like, you know, big part of the face. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that again to myself. <laughs> my dating life sucks, guys. I think you guys know the answer to that one. As much as I know I got played, I had genuine feelings for Matt and it's not something that I can just switch off. I wish I could just switch them off like that, but um, I am hurt coming out of the villa and I'm actually getting a little bit upset talking about it now because yeah, I sort of do still have feelings for Matt. <sighs> Well, pretty much as soon as I walked into the villa, the twins started talking shit about me. And, you know, like they do not know me from a bar of soap. I don't know them from the outside, um, but they seem to have a lot to say about me. And so I was a little bit confused and I do believe that, you know, they were just trying to stir the pot. If that's what they want to do on the show and that's their intentions for the show, then fair game, they got me. The three days leading up to the dumping, I recognized that the whole villa was sort of turning against me. Well, the boys were anyway. And so when it came to the dumping, I knew I was out. I even packed my bags to leave before the ceremony happened because I knew. I even said bye to the girls. I was like, girls, that's it. It's me, I'm done. And the girls were like, no, no, Vanessa, you're not going. And I was like, no, like, I'm done. I'm out. I'm so sorry, girls, but I know it's me. So. When Josh announced my name, I wasn't even surprised at all. You know what? Um, coming off the show, I've recognized it more than when I was in there because I wasn't aware of what was sort of going on around me. I knew people were talking behind my back, but no one actually came up to me and said, 
hey, this is what's being said about you or, hey, this is what I think of you. You know, it was just rumors being spread around and then all of a sudden everyone was against me and I didn't know why. So yeah, I felt a little bit bullied by the boys. Um, yeah, what can you do? It was like high school all over again. <laughs> I'm not dating Sam guys. I have caught up with him since leaving the villa. We've been out a couple of times together, you know, as a group, as friends, but I'm just so busy leaving the show that it's not really something that I've explored yet. You know, I think Sam and I are just so busy at the moment that we're just focusing on ourselves. And you know, if something happens, it'll happen, but who knows? <laughs> to be honest, I'm so glad that I got out before the bomb squad because I would have, oh, I don't know what I, how I would have been. I would have freaked out. Um, but I think it's quite intimidating for the bomb squad to come in because these are new girls and they wouldn't know how things work in the villa and there's a lot of pressure to couple up because you know that you're out if you don't couple up. So I actually feel sorry for the new girls coming in because it's not easy coming in when there's relationships already formed and stuff, like it would be super intimidating. Well, if you're a smoker, you've got to quit before you go in the villa because you know, you cannot leave the villa as well. We only really get one glass of wine a night if that so even though it looks like we're there having a good time, we don't actually get to drink that much in the villa, which sucks for me because I love a few glasses of wine. You don't know what time it is in the villa. <laughs> even though you have phones, the time on it constantly gets changed and everyone's got different times. So like the only way I could tell what time it was in the villa was by looking at the sun in the sky. So <laughs> You could like kind of work out what time it was and stuff, but not really. <laughs> Guys, believe it or not, I literally have the worst skin ever. Like I got bullied for having really bad acne in school. And the only reason my skin is clear now is because I literally get facials every single week and I do face masks like three times a week. I am obsessed with face masks. So literally guys, Facial, 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 face mask, face mask, facial, face mask, like all the time. <laughs> There's actually one brand in particular that I use, it's called Sabia Co. And they do the most amazing face masks. So I've put it in the description for you guys because it's just easier that way. But yeah, pretty much obsessed with skincare. Otherwise I break out like crazy. <laughs> of course that one's gonna come up. Well, I have had fillers in my cheeks, in my tear troughs, and I get this part of my nose done just to make it super straight. And I also get Botox here. Well, Cassie is my best friend. And so I am team Cassie and Luke all the way. Even though Luke did spread some rumors about me, Luke and I actually got along as friends. So, yeah, I'm rooting for Cassie and Luke. Who I think will win though is a little bit different because Adam's a funny guy and Adam's a loyal guy. So I kind of have a feeling that Adam and Cartier might win. Well, the guys and girls are separated and usually they send the girls to the spa. So that's your maintenance day if you need your nails done, if you want a facial, massage, whatever. That's the day that you get to do it. Um, the guys often went to the gym or whatever, and usually you go out for lunch, but really it's just a maintenance day. You do not do much at all. Well, that's a funny one because I thought Anna was my friend in the villa. I thought all the girls were my friend, but coming out and seeing snippets of her and Matt talking, I realized that she's actually a little bit two-faced and stabbed me in the back. Is my new man <laughs> guys I don't have a new man yet I'm still heartbroken I mean I want to get out there and I want to meet someone I feel like I didn't get what I wanted out of Love Island and I'm single as fuck but um, yeah I'm gonna take it easy from now 
and no i don't have a new man <laughs> i wish and that's it guys thank you so much for watching my q a i'm so sorry that i couldn't answer more questions um, but i tried to get through absolutely everything for you guys 